Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to another crystal edition. I'm going to talk about programming your crystals today. Okay, so there are a few ways to program your crystals, and you have to do what you're you are most comfortable with. Now you might get um, a bit fed up with me saying do what you're comfortable with, or what you, you what your intuition tells you. But the simple thing is right. If you're comfortable with something, it's easier to do, and also it becomes more easier to get into a routine, and it, because it's easier for you and feels more comfortable, it'll work better for you. So there's no hard and fast rule of how to program your crystals. There's many different ways of doing it, and I would suggest to you that if you've not done it before, try different ways to see which one is most comfortable for you. Okay. So, let's have a look here. Right. Now, first and foremost, with your programming, you need to think about what you want that crystal to do. Now, each crystal is used for various different things anyway. And what I would suggest when you program it, you need to keep it in line with what that crystal actually does so for instance rose quartz and uh, rose quartz is very good for love of all kinds universal love pure love um and because it's um because it's very good for love it helps you forgive people for transgressions it helps you keep calm it um, helps you de-stress so any of those things would be good to program a piece of rose quartz for so you may just want it to be used for de-stressing for instance okay and then you've got um, amethyst amethyst is good for addictions pain and um, helps you with psychic ability for instance so again you may want to program just a piece of amethyst for one specific thing and such as pain for instance so you keep your intention what you're programming your crystal with in line with what the crystal is used for okay so um, let's have a look at the program itself then some people will say to you you need to hold the crystal in your dominant hand in other words, if you're right-handed, hold the crystal in your right hand. If you're left-handed, hold it in your left hand. Some people will say, no, you'll use the left hand for um, giving and the right hand for receiving, regardless of, um, of how you write, regardless of which is your dominant hand. And some people will say, hold your crystal in both hands. So, with any of them, they're all right for that person that is doing that, okay? So, for yourself, especially if you've not programmed crystals before, I would say try each one. Hold the crystal in each hand, see what's, what you feel comfortable with. If you're going to program it, just feel what's right for you, okay? And sometimes a crystal, you may feel that you've got to hold one crystal in one hand you may feel that you pick up another crystal and you want to hold it in both hands to program it so you follow your intuition and you do what feels comfortable what feels right at that particular time okay so um, another thing is some people say close your eyes some people say no that's okay you can do it with your eyes open again what is right for you some people find that it's a lot easier to keep their intention in mind if they close their eyes it's a lot easier for them to focus and some people find it easier to focus with their eyes open and um but mentioning that the intention that is what is most important the intention of what you want to do and what you want to use it for and when I say intention, I don't just mean, um, you know, say if you want to program it to help you with pain. I don't just mean that. I mean the intention of using it for benefits, for beneficial good purposes, 
and not harmful purposes. So you keep your intention in your heart. Now, going with this, um, with the intention and keeping it in your heart, you need to just remember with this as well that if you meet somebody who gives you a crystal, just think about that person. Are they a good person or are they somebody that you wouldn't trust? Because what have they put into that crystal? The crystal is going to pick it up. Okay, that's why you need to make sure that you want to use the crystal for good purposes or if you're on the bad side of things, you will want to use the crystal for bad purposes. I think most people would go for the good because they usually use the crystals for themselves as well possibly for the families and other people so it's often for good intention rather than bad okay so with them um, programming as well you can either say a short instruction you can say it out loud or you can say it in your mind you can say a prayer to your god if you're religious you can say a prayer to the angels if if you like to con connect with your angels uh, you can say a prayer to your spirit guides you can say a prayer to source to the universe or as i say it could just be a simple instruction it could be a mantra it could be a rhyme that you have again it's what feels comfortable for you okay so with this one if we program it for pain okay so if i hold it in my my two hands like this okay and then i keep the intention in my heart so and just remember there's energies in these crystals so you need to be quite polite to your crystal so I'm going to say good morning crystal or good morning amethyst I'd like you to help me remove pain from my finger I've got arthritis in my finger and I'd like you to help me remove that pain and be of benefit and of no harm to anyone myself or anyone else thank you okay I mean you can you can see there what I mean. I've got arthritis in my finger. Okay, so that's one way of programming your crystal. Some people will also hold it next to the heart. So let me just put the camera the other side. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see me. Okay, can you see it there? Just about, I think. Just about. okay right it's a bit better okay so if we're holding it like this so you may want to just keep it next to your heart while you're saying maybe a prayer okay so if you close your eyes you can say um good morning amethyst i ask source god the angels whoever you wish to speak to i ask source to protect this stone to help me use it to take away pain may it be used for only good purposes may it be used for the benefit of myself and anyone else who needs to use it may it do no harm to anyone the so motive be so you can sound for a prayer like that some people will blow on it like that now, there's one thing to remember. If you want to blow on the crystal while you're programming, if you're using it for yourself, that's absolutely fine. But if you're using it for other people, just remember about all the, the stuff that's been going on the last two years. Some people are reacting quite strongly to certain things, in uh, reacting in ways they wouldn't have acted in before 2020 so just bear that in mind 
okay some people are quite frightened about what's been going on right so that's what I mean some people will hold it in the hand and um, or, or even like you, I suppose you could hold it in your hand next to your third eye and some people will actually just put the crystal next to the third eye and program it there okay that doesn't feel right for me but it may feel right for you okay I like to keep it next to my heart while I'm doing it okay so that's programming your crystals many different ways of doing it um, as I say try each one see what works best for you there is no right or wrong way apart from keeping your intention in your heart and making sure that your intention is right for you whether it's good or bad I'm not going to tell you what you should be doing whether you're on the good side or the bad side that is for you and what is in your heart to decide okay right so let's program any crystals join me next time um, I do have the Alexas to show you how to use the Alexas once you've programmed your crystals you can charge water up to um, to drink the energy of the crystal in your water so I'm going to put that out okay and then also go through some of the different crystals and what they're used for and what you can um, what you can use use them for and any toxins that could be in them as well because some of them do contain toxic substances okay so I'll be covering that as well so thank you for joining me click subscribe and like let me know in the comments below if there's any other way that you program your crystals okay so let me know what you do and uh, thank you for joining me and i'll catch you next time okay take care bye bye